everyone, this is Kelly with Books I'm Not Reading. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, and today I'm going to be talking about a buddy read I recently did with, I hope I'm saying this right, Natalie from My Reading Days. She's an Australian booktuber, and I was watching her video um, earlier this year about her goals, things she was hoping to read in 2019, and I kept hearing things I was like, I want to read that. I want to read that too. So um, hopefully we will be able to do some more buddy reads later this year. But what we read was Death Wears a Mask by Ashley Weaver. And I was a little bit, I was a little bit nervous about how to make this into a video because this is actually the second book in the Amory Ames series. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about um, the first two books. I know I've talked um, some a little bit about this book um, previously uh, when I read it this last fall. And I only found out about these books because of Steve Donahue's Mail Halls and uh, he got a later book uh, in this series and it just sounded really fun and so Jason indulged me and got me this fairly quickly and then for Christmas I got this. So the second book in the series. So the first one's Murder at the Brightwell, um, and uh, Amory, our heroine uh, and amateur detective, uh, gets invited to this hotel by her former fiancé. Her husband is kind of a rake and in and out of the picture. Her ex-fiancé invites her to come help him solve a situation at the Brightwell. Um, a hotel by the sea, of course, and she goes and there's this whole interesting cast of characters um, staying at the hotel. And uh, yeah, and so obviously things go wrong and um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a good book. There were, for me, a little few too many like red herrings and kind of like misdirections. Um, but Natalie actually prefers this one to Death Wears a Mask, although I think we're both in agreement that we love both of these books. Um, Death Wears a Mask is um, Amory and her um, her husband Milo, who's still <laughs> who's still in the picture. Uh, they go to London and go to see one of um, Amory's, I don't know, distant relatives or a friend of her family or something like that. And everyone has heard about what's happened um, at the Brightwell. And so um, somebody at the party asks Amory for her help um, in finding out who is stealing her beautiful jewels, her sapphires, her um, Eiffel Tower pin, which personally I'd love that, something like that. <laughs> anyway, so she's got a bunch of jewelry that's gone missing. Anyway, uh, and Milo tries to talk her out of it, and um, of course he's still misbehaving a little bit. And uh, I think what I loved so much about this book was, and, and, it's, and it's true with this one as well, although it just felt more focused and kind of honed in, I felt like Ashley Weaver grew as a writer between these two books. Um, this one felt just more everything that was in there was necessary. There were a few things at the end that I kind of wish maybe she had uh, given us a bigger picture or wrapped things up a little bit better, but that's okay. Um, because the tension between Amory and her husband Milo is just electrifying. I mean, their conversations are just filled with tension and romance and uh, anger, just all, I mean, so much emotional, um, just so much emotion, excuse me, um, packed in. And yeah, it's fantastic. So there's five books in the Amory Ames series, and um, I think we've decided that we're going to keep reading them, but because there's only five, you got to space it out, right? I mean... I don't know, like, I don't know if, how you guys feel about this, like, I, if I find a series I really like, I, I try to read 
so like Kurt, the Kurt Wallander mystery series by Henning Mankell, I try to read one a year so that it's stretched out and I, I, I don't get through the series too fast. So I think that's what we're going to try to do with um, the Amory Ames mysteries is stretch them out um, but hopefully keep reading them together because they are just so delightful and witty and um, a great glimpse into 1930s um, London society. I loved it. So, uh, and like I said, it was just what I needed this week. So like, the timing was perfect. Um, if you've read these books and love them, um, let me know. And if there's another mystery series out there that you feel is similar to these, um, or that's your favorite mystery series, I'd love to hear. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I have a three-day weekend, so I'm very happy about an extra day off and an extra day to um, stay cozy and warm and uh, get some reading done. So hope that you are doing the same if you uh, have President's Day off. <laughs> All right, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, BookTube.